Alert, the shock truth behind Trump's North Korea threats. The truth regarding international politics is often more complicated than it would first appear. In spite of what the mainstream media would have you believe, President Trump's comments towards the North Korean leader are actually far more nuanced than you would first believe. It turns out that the North Koreans hacked South Korean systems and found out how the South Koreans, in consult with the U.S., had developed a sophisticated plot to assassinate Kim Jong-un, according to the Washington Examiner. Furthermore, despite the media's depiction of him, military intelligence considers Kim to be quite rational. So it appears that Trump's comments are a way of playing on his paranoia, and encouraging him to act in a rational, self-preserving way. Recent developments have spun a new light on what appears to be a complex mind game Trump is playing with the foreign leader. South Korea announced Tuesday that North Korean hackers stole over 235 gigabytes of top-secret South Korean defense files. Included among them was a detailed assassination plot on killing the North Korean leader. The plan described the preferred methods of getting rid of the leader should conflict break out or be critically imminent. At the same time, the South Korean National Intelligence Service claimed that Kim has become obsessed with his personal security. Reducing public appearances, moving at dawn, and using alternative cars all seem to be signs that the leader is becoming paranoid for his life. The most interesting correlation is between the leader's recent saber-rattling, which escalated this year, and the theft of the decapitation plane around the same time. Many experts have begun speculating that this behavior is a sign that Kim is becoming scared for his life. Although news outlets were informed of this development recently, President Trump was likely to have been aware of this development since he entered office in January. If so, that explains why Trump has been so specific in his attacks on Kim. In a way, the president is playing mind games with the young leader, brandishing an intellectual knife in his mind and wearing the man down mentally. CIA Director Mike Pompeo said that Kim has shown a rational response to recent U.S. posture developments, leading him to conclude that his actions are indeed premeditated and deliberate, a stark contrast to the media's depiction of him as a raving madman. Knowing that Trump would have most likely been briefed on this intelligence assessment by Pompeo, it's not hard to see that even Trump's tweeting might be a deliberate tactic to demoralize Kim playing on his paranoia and influencing him to chose his own survival instead of escalating his nuclear missile policy, which would be a death sentence. If so, then it shows a nuanced, strategic side of the president that the mainstream media would never willingly show to the public. Trump has previously called the North Korean leader a little rocket man that is on a suicide mission for himself. These constant comments, first regarded as little more than an aspect of Trump's outgoing personality, have taken on a much greater meaning now that we see the full context of the situation. Whether or not Kim will end up caving to the mental pressure is yet to be seen. If he did, it would be a masterfully orchestrated, if not an anticlimactic resolution to a problem that has hounded the region for many decades.